Yeah. Um, well, I can tell you how I got to where I was. It was actually information published on the did church it, website. Did it involve a silken thread? Did it involve being led gradually? Hmm? Uh, mm -hmm. No, it was what I had been vaguely aware of taught as anti-Mormon lies were actually confirmed by the church to be truth. Wait. So that is what got me to where I am. What kind of anti-Mormon lies are you talking about? Well, it involves you, actually. So um, the church has now disavowed uh, racism, and so that was confusing to me because God can't disavow himself. Uh, so that was uh, one of the first big questions. Wait, so you're saying that the brethren in the past made mistakes, is what you're saying? You, in fact. You've been thrown under the bus. Hey, mistakes were made, but not by me. But uh, how do you know the brethren today aren't making a mistake in disavowing those mistakes of the past? Well, either way, it becomes um, oh, I got, I got unreliable. You. Either way, it becomes unreliable and unnecessary. To, in my mind. What does? Reliance uh, on the brethren? Yeah, they don't have any authority to claim that they're representing some God or eternal truths when they're just dragging behind changing society and they're disavowing previous teachings. Who are you going... in a dishonest way. Who are you going to follow, Sam, if you don't follow the brethren? Uh, my own moral compass. Oh, your own moral yeah. compass, eh? Somebody who lived a deception for 40 years and you're going to trust that person who couldn't even figure out that he was trapped in a cult? I mean, in a, I mean, hold on. I don't think this argument is working. Um, okay, so <laughs> you don't want to trust me because you think I'm deceiving you, but you're going to trust this Samuel J. Pinson guy who couldn't figure out for 40 years that he had been deceived? Like, really? What are you going to do next? Have Bernie Madoff be your financial advisor? I mean, really, Sam, you've, you've got to think through these things. You can either accept that the brethren are the spokesperson for God and therefore represent an objective standard of truth, or you can place your trust in the arm of the flesh and yourself. You know, you're trusting somebody who couldn't figure out that he was deceived. You know, mm -hmm. would you rather acknowledge that you weren't actually deceived, you were just hypercritical, and therefore place your trust in these, you know, trustworthy brethren, or so admit that's or that's admit that you were fallacy. deceived, and then all you have to do is trust the guy who couldn't figure out he was deceived. You know, it's ridiculous. No, I don't want to fall for the sunk cost fallacy. So while it did cost me and take me nearly 40 years of my life, um, that's a cost that's sunk, and I'm ready to move forward and embrace reality and truth now. Mm hmm.